Hey, welcome ladies and gentlemen. So in this tutorial, we're going to learn about the canvas in HTML. So the canvas is a very versatile element in HTML and it can do so many things. You can make whatever visual item that you need in canvas. So this includes video games, uh, graphs, etc etc so anything that meets your imagination you can probably make in canvas so on this one i want i want us to do a simple uh, puzzle game of sorts so that we learn how to use the canvas and how you can go about uh, using it for things like that for things like games so in this one, I was given a task at some point to create something here for visual learners. So let me give you an example here. So this is something similar to what we're going to make, but it won't be exactly like this. Uh, this is just a sample. So for example, I can create a test here. Let me just, uh, I'm going to do my test. Oh, let me call it puzzle test, something like that. And let me save. So there is puzzle test here. There are no questions yet. So let me just add one question here. So the idea here is to add an image, for example. So I'm going to load an image here. And let me load this particular image here. So the image has, as you can see, visual cues here or labels that show you what part does what. And the way this thing works is we'll add a question here and say uh, drag and drop the correct image to the correct section or something like this right so that will be your question kind of so what you can do now this part here is the canvas element here so what i can do is i can click and drag on this item here to create a visual box and I can move it around to where I want. And then I'll click select area. And that hides this area right there. So I can do this and hide this one as well. And move this one again. Move it around. Add it here. And I can do the same thing here. Select that. And do this select that okay so now when i click on these it actually shows you what's missing behind that part which part is which as you click on these things here and of course you can clear all of them if you want or remove the selected one if you wish to do so and then once you're done you can actually save the question so it says question saved that's great so if we go to the tests now this puzzle test has one question there as it shows and you can take the test so for somebody who's taking the test they see this question drag and drop the correct image to the correct section and then now they can click on each one of these and then drag and drop to the right place so as you can see as i'm dragging and trying to drop here it shows me that i'm in the area to drop this item so if I drop it on the wrong place, it gives me this big thing there to show me that, oh, that was wrong. And if I go to this one, let's try a correct one for once. Let me drop it here and there you go. So you can see now it reviews the actual, that image goes there. And let's do the same here. Let's do the same for that, the hearing. And finally, the smell. And there it goes, it says, Good job. So this is the kind of game I want us to make. So a kind of puzzle game that we can make here. So you can make all kinds of stuff here with this. Let's go back here. Let's add another question. Let's see here. If I load an image, some images could be puzzles, like for example, this uh, chicken, or let me try this image over here. So we can say solve the puzzle, something like that. And then we cut out pieces of this 
to hide them. So I can do this, select area, and then do the same thing here. Select the area. Same thing here again. And let's do select the area. I'm going to do this for this one. And then finally this. So we have to leave some pieces that are intact to give clues. So of course you can move this box around until it fits what you want. And finally let's remove maybe this one over here and select the area. So that's good enough. And then we can save that question. All right. And now if I go to tests again, now we have two tests and I, I can say tech the test. And so this is question one. I can go to the next question, which is this one. Then I can begin dragging and dropping things until I get them right. Like so. All right. And there. And finally here. Great job. Okay. So another thing we could do is, let me add questions here. Another type of puzzle is where there is text instead. So maybe something like this one. So this, the image is squashed somewhat because of the settings I have here, but we can always edit those settings as needed. So even this kind of thing, you can do that and remove the labels. So, so much you can do with this. It doesn't have to be like this. Uh, with Canvas, you can do all kinds of things. So let me move this around like so. So I guess you get the idea. So move the labels to the correct area or something like that. And let's save that question. Question saved. And if we go to our tests, now there are three questions in here. Take the test. Let's go to the next question and next one. And then now we can move these things around to the right place. So antennae, the head, the eye, the abdomen, the thorax, and finally, there we go. Great job. All right. So in order to make that happen, we're going to concentrate on the canvas element here. That's the interesting part. This part over here where we do all the work. The rest of these are normal HTML elements except for this canvas area. So let's head over to the next video where we begin creating this puzzle game from scratch.